Uh, Smash Crew, as always, it's 10 o'clock, so that must mean it's the footy hour of power. <laughs> and while Chopper talked about his footy before 10 o'clock, it's now... We booted him out. Yeah, he's gone. Chopper has... We love you, Chopper, but it's real footy now. Man's game. And we're joined by a couple of Ian's. Booty has done me a favour and made it easy for remembered to everyone's name today. Ian and Ian, welcome to the Smash Crew. Happy to be here, mate. Glad to have you on board, guys. Thank you. Now, you're from Midland Footy Club? Yes. Yes, we are. And I'm also pleased to announce that right now, as much as it hurts me to say this, we've also got a legend of, a growing legend of WA footy, South Fremantle's Tim Kelly on the phone. Can you hear me, Tim? Uh, yeah, I'm here, mate. Cheers for having me on board. No worries, brother. It's always a pleasure, even if it is at the expense of the mighty blue and white last week where you personally kicked uh-huh. more than my whole team. Congratulations. Yes, thank you for ruining my Cheers, mate. It was much appreciated. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're welcome, mate. <laughs> <laughs> now, for you, Tim, first of all, before we get into how Souths are travelling and we know they're going pretty well, couple of weeks ago you were over on my country there, Wurundjeri country in Melbourne with the uh, WA team taking on Victoria and yep. were lucky enough or not lucky enough, were skilled enough and um, enough. privileged enough I guess to get the win over the Vicks. How was that? Yeah, it was, it was a really good game. Um, it was one that, you know, I'm very very proud to say I was a part of, you know, to make history, um, being the first WA team to, to beat the Vicks over over in Victoria. So, no, it was, it was something that I always treasure. Um, for yourself, what was the experience like as an individual and how did the team get along? You didn't have much training prep time, but you put out a magnificent performance. How did that come about? Yeah, like you don't you don't always you know for those sort of things you don't always get um, the greatest amount of time to get to know one another. But um, for a fair few of the boys, um, you know they've played together in a fair few state games now. Um, it was my second time around, so most of the boys I I, I knew, you know, and um, you know like uh, it's a small world like in the waffle. Everyone everyone knows everyone, especially when you like, at state level. So. Um, yeah, the, the team just clicked, um, and I mean personally for me, it's my first time um, having to travel to play footy, so oh, I really enjoyed it. Like all the little challenges that came with that, um, you know, just trying to stick to my routine as much as possible, you know, doing the things that I'd normally do before a game, just making sure I, I did that. So um, no, but look, I really enjoyed it, mate. Excellent, and uh, it is. A big ups to you and big shout out to everyone involved because there was a few South Freo boys went over. Cookie was there, uh, Benny Saunders yep. as well up front. Would have been good to travel with those guys. As you say, it's a small circle, but having your mates there from South as well. Yeah, no, yeah, it was it was really good. Um, it always, always makes it just that little bit easier, you know, having you know some of your you know some of your really close mates. Um, and really close teammates, a part of it as well. Um, so yeah, what we had, Cookie, uh, Saundo, and Schleif as well. So, and you know, I, I thought we all, you know, we all contributed. Everyone in the team contributed, but I thought, you know, all our South boys really put in, you know, a really good effort. Now, um, let's get on to South. Uh, it hurts me. Neil Coyne, our co-host, he does the other weeks. He's a big South man. The season so far has been going pretty well for you, sitting in second spot there. How's the team travelling? Yeah, I mean, look, we're, we're travelling OK. Um, we've had, you know, obviously we had a, had, a, had a good win on Monday, but if you go back a couple of weeks, you know, we lost two in a row. Um, you know, the East Perth game, we just let slip, you know, in the last few minutes. Um, which is very disappointing. And the week before that, we we didn't even we didn't really show up to, to play Subi and put in a very poor effort. So um, you know, going in on Monday, we just we just wanted to get back to doing the basics, right? Doing all the simple things um, and just play a four quarter effort. 
and I thought we did that. Um, you know, but it, we're going okay. But um, you know, it's just really important for us just to to, to keep to keep improving and to to build again today, and hopefully get another win against Peel. And that'll be an interesting test for you with Peel sitting sort of just inside the four there at the moment behind Swans and yourself and Subi with Liam Ryan at the moment looking rather impressive. How how um, how are you going to get up over Peel given that Fremantle are tra- uh, not travelling so well either? Yeah, well, I mean, look, it doesn't to, to us. We you know, we don't really care who they have playing for them. Um, you know, it's another game, and you know, we just we just worry about us. And um, look, like they probably should have won last week um, against Subi, so they you know, they put in like a really good effort um, and just didn't come away with the win. So they're, they're going they're going okay. We know we it's going to be another tough grind today. So um, yeah, like we have to be at our absolute best to beat them. Now, Jared Garlett's been back at the club this season after a bit of time away in the AFL and he's finding his feet again. How's he settling in down there? Yeah, yeah, Jared's settling, settling in really nice. Um, you know, um, such a such a good player and um, such a really good kid as well. So, um, yeah, he's, you know, he's, he's building each week. He's, you know, he's... Um, He's all for trying, you know, new roles. You know, he's sort of playing everywhere at the moment. He's, you know, for a quarter he might be down back and he's up forward and he's on the wing. So he's just happy to, to, to play a role for the team. Um, and, yeah, I mean, his form's slowly building. Um, and, yeah, I'm sure his, his best foot is ahead of him. All right. Now, what I, we'll just have a... It hurts. Jesse and I are hurting at the moment, but... We'll just quickly run through last week's waffle scores for all the listeners out there, uh, and then we'll talk about the South game. Subi defeated Peel, as you mentioned, uh, by four points in the last couple of minutes. Unlucky there. Uh, but Subi showing the fighting spirit at the moment, pretty much confident and on top of the ladder. A couple of games clear, so they think they're invincible. We'll have to prove that wrong. Um... Swans getting up over a disappointing Perth. Perth looked like they were going to be going well early. They were talking the talk, but they haven't so far walked it. Um, going down by five goals to Swans. You, just quickly while I check, you, who you fellas barrack for on the other side of the panel there? Subi Echo. I'll go for Swans. <sighs> yeah, <laughs> all right. <laughs> Sorry about that, mate. Neither of us are happy there. Uh, <laughs> East Perth defeating West Perth. Uh, West Perth very un- inaccurate in front of goal. And then your mob, I'm just going to read the score here. Listeners, this is not a typo. South Fremantle Bulldogs, 28 goals, 17, defeating a very sad and disappointing East Fremantle, 6 goals, 4. Now, Tim, the stats there, just having a look at the top three stack. Kick, uh, collectors for you guys last week. Yourself, Blaine Johnson and Hayden Schleuthy there racking up a hundred disposals between just the three of you. Did you all go and have a power breakfast or something? Did you... <laughs> uh, 25 <laughs> kicks for yourself, 10 handballs and this is where it hurts. It Seven <laughs> goals, two to you. Defeating East Fremantle six goals for what was you know how is it possible? What did the coach talk to you about when you're ten goals to nil up at quarter time? How did the coach address that, and what did you as a group come together to sort of tackle it with? Yeah, I mean quarter time address. Um, you'd be pretty happy as a coach coming in ten goals up, but um, he just said like. We can't take the foot off. Um, can't get too comfortable. Um, and if we let them back in the game, then just ruins everything that we, you know, that we built in that first quarter. So we just kept going. In half time, said the same thing. Three quarter time, said the same thing. And, you know, we put, <laughs> Sorry we put, to make your quarter time break speeches boring, mate. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So look, he just, you know, he, he just kept, you know, just kept. 
kept saying it, and um, yeah, look, we and you just kept doing it. Well, yeah, that's it. You know, he kept cracking in right to the to the last second, and you know that's that's what you get to do, like full court efforts. That's that's what win your games, especially against you know when you're playing the stronger teams. So um, yeah, but we'll need to put in a, a good full court effort today to, to get the points. Yeah, now looking at the goal kickers in the league at the moment as we move on, uh, brother boy Liam Ryan, currently 10 goals clear of Leroy Jetta, who's back obviously down at Peel. Um, but looking at it, South Fremantle have got four out of the top 10 goal kickers, so you're spra- sharing the load pretty evenly and getting it amongst each other with Blaine on 25, Benny on 23, and then Corey and Mason on 19 apiece. So, obviously, it's working down there at South, and there's been a lot of talk about Liam Ryan and the draft and how he's chopping up at Subi. Given your performances, is the AFL something you're actually thinking about? Or You talked about pre-game routine for the state game. Is travel part of your thought process or where you at? You're going to do a Steve Michael and stay in Perth. <laughs> and I'm not oh. binding you to this at all, bro. Yeah, look, no doubt. Um, AFL is something I'd, I'd, I've wanted for a very long time. Um, but, you know, at the end of the day, that, oh, that's out of my control. I can only focus on playing good footy and um, yeah, look, I, I plan on playing as high as I can for as long as I can. So whether that's Waffle, AFL, um, yeah, that's, that's what I plan to do. All right. Now, we're going to go around the matches for this week and we'll get your thoughts on them as well as everyone on the panel. Sep, welcome. Uh, Sep Tassoni has just joined us as well from Midland Footy Club. So you go. we'll get to you in a minute, brother. Um <laughs> matches this week, Perth taking on Subi, even though it's at left lane, you'd have to be crazy if you didn't tip Subi, hey? Mm-hmm. Anyone going to tip <laughs> Perth? Sorry, Earl and all you Noongar brothers, Gordon Arria and all the... Uh, there's a few fellas down there at the moment at Perth trying to get a game and doing all right, but, yeah... How much you reckon that Subi will beat Perth by Liam? Uh, by, uh, Tim, sorry. Um, oh, five or six goals. Oh, you're a nice Dude, bloke. I, we, we were going to go for about 15. <laughs> I was anyway. 80, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I think it'd be a comfy win. Yeah. Points, not goals. I'll go 109, <laughs> boys, no. 109. All uh, right, now... I'll save your game for the end. Swans taking on Falcons um, tomorrow, everyone. This is a tomorrow game, Sunday. Swan Districts taking on Falcons at Bassendean. Uh, Tim, your tip? Uh, sorry, what was that? Who's playing? Uh, Swannies and Falcons. So, West Perth Swans. Um, I'm going to go with Swans. Yeah, because they are both equal. This is we were talking before in the NRL about the closeness of teams and all playing each other this week. Swans currently sitting tied on third place with twenty four points each. So um, it'll be a close one because it's at Swannies. I think Swans will get up. Uh, Sep, Black Ducks for me. Same again. Yeah, the Mighty Ducks. Jordy. Yeah. <laughs> Jess. Yeah. Um, all right, West Perth. All right, West <laughs> Perth. Um, <laughs> Ty- Tigers taking on the Sharks. Geordie, you're heading home. Claremont yeah. back at Claremont I'm Oval coming. after three and a half years. Yeah, it's uh, you know, it's always good get down to Claremont Oval and might go down for a look, but yeah. Well, I don't know. We look forward to spoiling the party. <laughs> <laughs> I don't think so. Uh, no, I don't no. think so. <laughs> oh, somehow or other, I don't think yeah, so either. I, can't I, mean, see, I can't see it happening. Look, I'll still tip East Romano because well, I can't not tip them. But Tigers are in seventh spot, so they're not having the best of seasons either at the moment. Started really strong, but yeah. then they've... Yeah, lost, seem to have lost their way, but... It's going to be embarrassing if you lose to us after Monday. It's going to be really embarrassing. Well... <laughs> <laughs> <All right. laughs> actually, Maybe it'll be a mercy. We, actually, you know what, guys? I'm going to... Oh, I can't no, put... I'm, no, no, I was going to do 
something and just chuck a challenge out there between you two, but I'm... about because you said it would be embarrassing. Do you think East Freo have any chance at all, Jordy? I I don't think so. Maybe you know Mercy sort of. So like Max and I a couple of years ago with West Coast and Hawthorne. Yeah. We had to wear the other team's Guernsey and be photographed in it and put it on our Facebook page. Are you two down with do that. that as a bet? So if they win, you got to wear Claremont, and if I shouldn't, East Freo win, you got to wear an East Freo oh, top. Yeah, well, yeah, we'll, we'll have to find one out. or two <laughs> to fit you. Yeah. But. No, we'll sort something out. <laughs> All right. All right. That's on. That's on, Tim. You heard it. Um, now, you fellas taking on. Peel at home for yourself at Ben uh, at Freeman Lovell there, Timmy. How do you reckon you guys are going to go against a pretty strong Peel side? Um, I think you know, I think it's going to be a really good game. Um, I think it's going to be a close game. So I think whoever wins, it'll it'll be close. But, you know, they're going to back us in. Um, but I think it's going to be a close game either way. And obviously encouraging everyone to get down there and frag and support yourself and all the mob down there because you are going pretty well and, you know, footy's strong. We want to see the community and the brothers come through different programs, different levels, and that's what we're all about. And Waffle is the top level football in WA. You know, that's as simple as it is. So get down and support your local sports. Tim, you got any shout-outs before we let you go? Um, oh, yeah, just shout out to all friends and family listening. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah, it covers all bases. It's safer that way. <laughs> all right, mate. Enjoy your day. Enjoy your afternoon. And good luck to you on a personal level. I can't wish your team the best of luck. Although everyone I know, I wish the best of luck. So good luck to you all. No worries, guys. Thanks for having me. All right. Take good care work. and have a good one. Yeah. See ya.